Me keep a smile by my face just to see the pussy there. <clears throat> and if I want thing but a man, don't just a pussy fed. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Will her boyfriend cheat on her with another woman, people? We don't know. Is it loyalty or is it lust? We're gonna find out today. As much as I don't want to say it, do what you gotta do. You yeah. Know, like. Today we're replacing uh -oh. Crown's boyfriend to a lonely uh -oh. test. How are you feeling about everything? I'm a little nervous, but dark skin versus the light lights. Uh oh. This point, no. Our friends Madeline will be testing Sean's loyalty oh by hitting on him and asking him on a date. Oh my. Will he remain loyal or will he entertain Madeline's advances? I always hope that they're not down. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. But also, like, we better free our homegirls from their boyfriends, you know? Me love my black women. Me love my black women, me say. But boy, me not lie to you. Don't. <sighs> <sighs> I don't discriminate. I don't care what color she is. I don't care she white, green, blue, orange. If she look good, she look good to me. Oh. You say this is all gonna boil down to if the dude is into. Hey, Did you get my her text shade last of night? skin tone? Which one? The the one about picking my charger up from my friend's house. What about it? Uh, I was just calling to make sure that you got it and you don't forget. Um, can, did you check like how far her house is? Sean's loyalty test will be taking place in this LA home. Madeline is pretending to live here. To get him over, Crown asked him to pick up her laptop charger that she supposedly left behind. It shouldn't be that far, honestly. Uh, just make sure she told me she'll be home or she'll be free like between three and five. And actually, I'm gonna give you her number. And um, yeah, I'll text you her number after and then you can, you know, just kind of like facilitate that whole thing with her. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Um, my boss is like right in my ass right now, so I have to go. But I love you and okay. thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I love you. Love you too. So, my best friend, he used to work. Hey, yo, y'all got a, y'all got a, y'all got a group out here. UDY, what are y'all doing, man? Y'all, 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 y'all. Yeah, 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 you get what I'm saying. Anyway. So, my boyfriend, he used to work at mm -hmm. Um, I had another friend who also worked at They were coworkers or whatever. Um, she worked in a different department than him, but she would tell me that there was a girl who did work in his department who, at first, it was just kind of like, whatever, but then it ended up being like they were really friendly with each other. Mm. And I don't know, as somebody who's in a relationship, I just... Right. Uh, that raised right. red flags for me. Right, I so, feel that. Yeah, asked him about the relationship, what was going on there, if there was something at all. Um, and he said that they were just friends, everything was cool, you know. Um, so. What did your friends say? Like they flirt a lot, or how does? Well, let me just be honest. She's biased because she's on my team. So yeah, she she really does she, make so it seem, you know, like she bit, does. Yeah. yeah, she says they flirt all the time. They take their lunches together, and on their lunch, not like hey, like oh, you happen to be eating lunch? Let me sit down. It's like let's go take our lunches together, right? And then multiple times, like okay, one little lunch, whatever, mm. right? But then it's like. If I'm hearing, like, this is a consistent thing, like, y'all yeah. are, what the f is this, you know? Yeah. Crown wanted to test her boyfriend's loyalty because she's been very suspicious of him talking to or cheating on she, her. With she do look good. You can't well, deny that. His now ex co worker. You see, Sean eventually left that job, but he's still hanging out with the old co workers and talking to that girl. Oh. He got fired from and I was looking happy because it was like, okay, now you don't got to deal with the girl. But then I found out, like, He's hanging out with the old co-workers. He's going to bars with them. Oh, wow. All type of like that. And she's there. Is, she, is he inviting you, though, to and go out? And he's not inviting me. No. Mm. And you know for a fact that when he goes out and hangs out with... So, the hold on. So, you more, you, you're happier that old boy don't have a job to be able to support all because he don't get to see old girl no more? But how you going to put food on the table then? He don't got no source of income. And you... Happy about that? Co-workers that she's there? Yeah. Have you met her before? I never met her. Mm. Did you think to confront her ever? Like, yeah, but at the same time, it's like, if I don't know anything for certain, I can't just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's really not her. I'm, I'm not, I don't have an issue with her. For sure. You know, for as much as I know, she don't even know he's in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But it's him. 
Yeah. Mm. He needs to understand that you're in a relationship right. and that's just not how you operate, you know? And you said that one of the reasons why you want to trust him and you almost don't want to do this is because he gives you access to his phone. <laughs> he gave me the passcode a long time ago and I, I don't know, I just never, never used it. You've never checked his phone? No? I've never gone through his phone. I, I, one, I just feel like I don't have to. I shouldn't have to. Yeah. And then the other thing is just like, I feel like if you're so adamant about me checking your phone, like you're so open to it, then Wait. you probably deleted the shit you don't want me to find. You know, of course now I feel like I should have checked the phone, yeah. but yeah. whatever I mean, here, whatever the outcome is, I'm gonna she accept got a point. it. I've given if you got to check your, your significant other's phone in the relationship because you don't have trust, you got trust issues now. I'm not gonna touch my girl's phone. I'm not doing that, okay? I'm not doing that. If I catch you in the act, I catch you. Not checking your phone. And you're not checking my phone either. Because all that's going to happen is we're going to look at the phones and we're going to find something we don't like. And then it's going to be a problem. Face. The idea is that Madeline's been day drinking, celebrating the release of her new music. So her job is to act a little tipsy. Hey, how are you? Madeline. What was your name again? Sean. Sean. Come on in. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We got him over. That's good. It's a good first step. Sorry, that took so long. I was Hi. getting more champagne and I'm here with my team right now. This is Sean, guys. He's here to get a charger. Madeline introduces Sean to her supposed team, her music producer Nathan and mm. her manager Kyle. If you guys recall, to narrow down his arrival time, Madeline told Sean that she had a meeting with them that would wrap up by the time that he got there. Congratulations on your new project, on your drop. I'm really Thank excited you. to see that. I'm gonna send you some more beats tonight too. Oh yeah. I have like two more for like the next project. Let me know yes. what you think of them. I stepped up a little bit. And then I'll call you later with the numbers and how much everything's gonna cost. Okay, sounds so good guys. Nathan and Kyle fulfilled their jobs. A small role, but critical in getting Sean over at a certain time and also making sure that the rest of this test would be believable. I wish hmm. I knew that Crown was sending such a hunk to come over to get this charger. <laughs> I would have gotten ready a little bit more. Thanks. Would you like a drink? I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna put this away then. Can you keep a secret? I really want to tell you. I really want to tell you. But you have to keep a secret. Okay. You have to pinky swear. Pinky sure. swear. Okay. I'm one of these, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, come here. I'm dropping my first single on my platform EP tonight. And it's R&B. That's really cool. Yeah. Nice, congratulations. Thank you so much. Cheers. I'm literally like so excited about this. I can, I can tell. <laughs> he don't you give a fuck. <laughs> You don't care. You know what? Actually, no. You hear a song, you tell me what you think, because I would love to have your opinion, and then I will give you the charger. The next step of our plan would give us access to Sean's phone. Madeline just needed to execute it flawlessly. Are you positive that the password on his phone is still the same? I'm not positive, but I, I'm pretty almost. Okay. I should, I should. Okay, the, oh wait. Do you have your phone on you? Yes. Okay, can you leave it there, please? Why? Because I don't want you to like be secretly recording and then possibly leak my new song. Oh, what am I? I'm not gonna leak. I, I'm sorry. I just don't trust you like that. I don't trust you like that. Please, just leave it right here. All right. Let me see. Make sure you don't have anything else. Oh, what's that? It's my wallet. Chill. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Yo. I'm so sorry. What do you think it was? Honestly, you don't want to know. <laughs> Come on in. Madeline takes Sean into the office, closing the door behind her. The you office. can sit here, have a speaker over here. Her music started. Yes, let's go. Oh my god. They did a damn Sean good job of making that look believable. Crown finds out what the relationship between Sean and his ex coworker was. Her name is Evelyn. Are she and Sean really just friends, or are they something more? I mean, remember, guys, Evelyn was the whole reason why Crown wanted to do this test in the first place. We had to give her some sort of closure. You ready for this? Oh, well, I, sure. You want? She want to know about the coworker. Once we do this, there's no going back. I know. There's no going back once we do this. The way you love me, baby. I don't understand. Oh. Oh my gosh, it died. Okay, I'll play it on my phone. Here. It died. Now, it's I think a nice spot, agree too. should have followed Sean and Evelyn around and found out if they were hooking up. Remember how his phone is, okay? <laughs> We considered it, but in the end, we didn't want to spend possibly weeks stalking them to hopefully catch them in the act. Next time, we'll send Nathan, though. It'd be better just to kind of catch them in the act of doing that. How do we have two weeks to go spy on these people? Don't you have anything better to do with your time? I definitely do, but I'm invested. I see these stars. This man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's the same. It's 
And just like that, we were into Sean's phone. Now, we didn't want Crown to go through it. We simply wanted her to change her name with Evelyn's, delete both of their message threads, and then text Sean something with, hey, babe, dot, dot, dot. We would then get Sean to look at his phone, and he would hopefully think that it's Evelyn. His response to that text would tell Crown everything she needs to know. You don't have to read anything if you don't want to. So, is it even Evelyn? But is it Eva? 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 He's an Eva. There's no Evelyn. Interesting. He's an Eva. Is it her? Surprisingly, Crown couldn't find an Evelyn in his mm. phone. All she found was an Eva, which could have been short for Evelyn. That one's you. This is crazy what she's doing. She's doing a this lot, bro. Gotta have it. This is like my third favorite. Madeline continues playing more music to buy us more time. Do you see how like some of these are? There's so many gaps. Like he said this yesterday, right? Then the last message. Oh, he said she doing too damn much. In trying to figure out if this was or wasn't Evelyn, Crown inevitably ended up reading some messages. I didn't want to show them because I wasn't sure if this was even his ex coworker, but their thread was interesting. There were gaps between messages. To give you guys a visual example, here's a message thread between me and my friend. You notice the gaps between our texts? Our thread looks like this because we hardly text each other. We communicate more through voice messages or just call each other. <laughs> so Sean and this Eva girl didn't text each other very frequently or Sean was deleting messages. Well, they probably send in voice like notes to each other. They be talking. He's deleting. You sure this is Evelyn? Evelyn? Uh, gee, I wonder why he deleting shit. I because she, he, you know, you be I doing this. For assuming the worst. I mean, we're filming a loyalty test after all. The reality, though, is that Sean may not be deleting messages. That doesn't mean that he and this girl aren't communicating in some other form, though. I'm good. I'm done. I'll see you. That's all. Enough. So switch Ava's name to my name. Yeah. Once you do it, there's literally like no one back. Like he's gonna know. What you did eventually, he's gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, we should probably deter prepare the text that you're gonna. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna say, hey, babe. Um, what you doing tonight? What Maybe you... not the tonight, because Madeline's about to ask oh, him. Oh, yeah. So, hey, babe, what you doing? So he might get suspicious. Okay. Don't tell me yet, though. I'll let you know. Just hold on to it, yeah. I swear to God, if he responds something like ideally, he must be bored say, as hell sitting up in that room listening to this D song. You mean to text this or yeah, like yeah. you got the wrong number, you know? Like, he better respond, babe. Who the f he's back? Something along those lines, right? Really? Yeah. You're just saying that. Oh, well, like You're I, just saying that because you want your charger back. Oh, you're actually really talented. Um, I would listen to that. Yeah, you said he's a fan. Eight, 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 eight. Winning hearts, winning souls. Eight, eight, eight. eight, eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was only supposed to show you one song. It's okay. Uh, well, I mean, I gotta get you out of here. <laughs> Let me get that charger for you. Okay. Mm. Prepare to send a message. He's gonna grab his phone right now. Um, I think it's in the living room though, or kitchen. Oh. Maybe we go check to see if it's over here. Oh. Thank you so much though for taking the time. I know you're probably busy. Do you have any plans later? Um, no plans. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, hold on. Go for ten. We're not done here. I just want to make sure you're not. Oh. Oh, okay. I think you go. This is your phone. Yeah, this is your phone. You got a text from Ava. Check your schedule too, but I have to use the restroom. So give me a second. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, perfect. Mm. So with that, our plan was done. Crown sent the text. Madeline made sure that he saw it. And now all we had to do was wait for his response. Is he texting? There's no doubt about it. Sean saw the text. The question was, what would he reply? Okay, I'm not gonna be over here pandering. He don't know what to do. I really have to pee though. <laughs> Sean was on his phone, but no text was coming through. Any response? He's not responding. No, he's just looking at it like. You think he's catching on? Hmm. He could. At the same time, like I don't. I don't know. I'm texting him. He's not texting. I don't know if I would grow suspicious. Not. He's on his phone. That's what I'm saying. He saw it. He's on his phone. He's not. It's like, I know you saw that. 
Come on, Sean, give us something. Even if it's an emoji or a confused question mark, something to tell us the dynamic between you and this other girl's relationship. Prove us wrong about you. Now is your chance. Okay, I'm really gonna go pee though, guys, because I gotta go. <laughs> I really thought he was gonna text back. I don't know. I think he he he, he could be suspicious or something. Uh, and hopefully he thinks they deleted the thread. Mm. That's true. I didn't think about that. That line is pink. So maybe she legit pink. Suspicious about that, but man, I really thought we were going places with this plan, but unfortunately not. Sean didn't text back a thing. This Man, dude is thinking what to say. That's what's outside. happening. More than enough time to take a piss and for this man to reply. I thought we were going places. I really, really did. All right. So what plan B oh, is? Maybe a little bit too much champagne. <laughs> so sorry about that. We may never learn the dynamic between him and this Eva or Evelyn girl. I mean, if they're even the same person. But at least we are going to learn if he would be willing to go on a date with Madeline. Which honestly, yeah, let's, let's, let's figure that out. out. By the way, just so you guys know, this was completely unplanned. The fact that you guys are matching. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, down to the foot. Down to the foot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no free toes though. What, no same toes. shoes? Yeah, that's a bit wild that like, y'all matching like that. Like, that that's some I'm suspicious have stuff. Half a glass more. Gotta keep the party going. So we are. <laughs> so, did you get a chance to check your schedule? Okay, cool. You yeah, said I'm, I'm pretty to, like, free. Hang out. I I'll be done like around eight. Maybe we can meet like at nine. Yeah. I mean, what do you want to do though? You want to stay here or you want to go out? Uh, probably just stay here. Have some more champagne. Wow. We can like chill in the jacuzzi. Wow. At, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also have um, a few other songs I could show you, so maybe. I feel like for this, bro, like that's already a fail. That's done. There was no hesitation. That means this, he's doing this all the time. The fact that Sean was down to hang out with zero hesitation does say a lot. He probably. But 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 check it out, check it out. He didn't reply to the text messages. He, he would, he with something good right now, and he not gonna respond to the text. Oh, that could be why he ain't respond. Because he with something right now that he trying to get with. Like he didn't text anything back. Well, I mean, it's none of my business, but who is Eva? Eva? Ava? Ava? She's just a friend. She's just checking in to see what I was up to. Uh oh. She's a friend. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like a friend thing. <laughs> nah, she's playing. She's playing. She's just a friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just don't want to step on any toes, you know? I'm like, obviously, Crown is my friend. Like, yeah. I. Mm. When she texted me earlier, she's like, hey, is it okay if my BF comes and picks up my charger? And like, to me, I didn't click to me like, oh, is it boyfriend or best friend, you know? So I was like. It's a thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. A thing, like, what does that mean? It's complicated, you know, it's like. You just said it's complicated. Like situationship, talking, uh, dating. You know, it's like we're on, we're off. Oh, okay, so it's one of those. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Ah. So Ooh. are you guys on right now ah. or off e. right now? Like, would she care if we hung out tonight? No, oh, I mean we're just we're just hanging out. Yeah, but what if like something happens? Like... <laughs> I don't know if it happens, it happens. You know what I'm How do you take that? <laughs> if it happens, it happens. I, don't have any right <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, like. None of my business, and I can care less. You know, I just like don't want to step on anyone's toes. No, no, we'll be fine. You know, we're just we're just hanging out. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just <laughs> trying to convince you himself. Hey, it's alright. Like, in the hot tub. It's like if we're gonna be drinking, I'm not gonna let you drive home. You know, like you're obviously more than welcome to stay. Okay, so she wouldn't care. I didn't say that, but. He knows. He knows he's wrong. Like, mm -hmm. He can't even he say. Want to answer yeah. That. He can't even say. It. If it was my girl saying something like that, bro, oh my god, we going to jail. I mean, I'm going straight to jail. It'd be over. It'd be over. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. I don't want to keep you much longer. I'm really sorry. Be over this. <laughs> you know, alcohol makes you forget. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He looking at the yams. Mmm. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn. Crown catches Sean checking Madeline out. This man was uh. not just looking, he was also licking his lips. Uh. Over here. He's nice. Uh, he's <laughs> It said he licking his lips. It said... <laughs> oh, it's not funny though. <laughs> merch with the correct charger now literally in his hands though he can leave there is nothing holding him here anymore unless of course he wants to be here okay sit down i'm gonna give you a little fashion show like i'm gonna be honest okay, the view isn't charger. that good he the view is not that good he boy. doesn't have to stay anymore he does not have to stay anymore he could take off so i have two designs These going are nowhere like, like like test mock-ups mock like yeah yeah okay, i'm gonna show you the my least favorite sensual lover girl it's pretty good. Can I sit? Oh! Oh! Okay. What? She's sitting oh. on his lap? What the f? Rip. This is why we wanted to give Sean the charger before Madeline ultimately sealed the deal. This man had a chance to leave, and even now he has a chance to push her off, but he doesn't. How do you take this? How would you take it? Hi. So, what do you think? I like it. Like, you're very creative. And he got his hand wrapped around her back. Every way. Yes, I try. I do try. He's trying to get uh -huh. some. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, I'm sorry. I do not cry. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good, you're good. I'm sorry. In my opinion, there was no point in continuing this any further. I mean, Sean told Madeline that he and Crown were complicated, that they were on and off. He was down to hang out, he was down for whatever. And I know Madeline was the one that sat down on his lap, but he could at least say something. Instead, he chooses to put his hand on her waist. That's way too comfortable. Bro, why the f is he letting her sit on his lap like that? He's enjoying this a bit too much. Oh, he probably thinks they really gonna smash. This is ridiculous. This is the end. Oh, God. I don't really have any words right now. Bro, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just like, let, let, let's be honest. Yo, let's be honest. If you were in his shoes, dog, tell me, what would you do? What would you do? In your head, your girlfriend isn't around. In your head, nobody but you two is around. What would you do? Instead, inst before you judge him. Ask yourself, what would you do? Do you see a point in continuing this test to like a... I mean, like... <laughs> like at this point, I feel like I, I don't need anything else. Um, I got like pretty much everything I needed. So, I'm like, yeah. it. I don't care. I, I'm over this Yeah, I'm over this I can't even... Is it hot Like, is the... Oh, strip, hot. strip, strip, strip. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Well, of course you're fine. Her, That's <laughs> crazy. Did you want to have a conversation with him and confront him about it? I said I'm fine. Yeah. Still wanted to do that? Yeah, I do. Did you still want to do what we talked about in terms of you going out there without the cameras and kind of like interviewing him to see what reaction he gives you first? Um, and then the cameras come out just so he doesn't like freak out. Yeah. You don't do that? Mm. Okay. It's complicated. Well, so tell me about yourself. Our plan to find out if Sean was cheating with his coworker didn't exactly pan out how we thought it would. However, we did find out that Sean was willing to trade his girlfriend for another girl, which like I said, says a lot. I hope you guys have your talkies for this because you guys already know this it shit's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. mm. Remember, it'll be just you until you call out okay. without the cameras. Mm. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing, mister? This man was leaning in for a kiss. Boy, you can't have your way with me. Kyle Nathan, we are ending this She year. said, boy. I will you guys want to come he, in. He was, he was trying her. to... He was trying Madeline. to lay it thick. Oh, yeah? It sounds like it. Oh, um, You want to come out here? Do you want to... Come on. Calling him out like a like a little, little puppy. Hi, <laughs> hey, boo. Come on, I wanted to see y'all. <laughs> yeah. How are you? What's up? Why are you acting weird? Chilling. How are you? Are you chilling? Why are you over there? I'm like, come here. Like, 
Sit down. Oh, he looks guilty as. Oh, he knows. Oh, he's scared. Sit down. Like, what is so? You good, bro? Look uncomfortable, so, my G. Can I get you a drink, girl, please? <laughs> so what's up? What you doing? Like, what's yeah, going on? I just, I just came to get the. Oh, you got my charger. Yeah. Thank you. He's either really confused or he knows exactly what happened. So for ten minutes, you've been looking all over the house for this, and nothing was going on. She's a little drunk. I, I don't know what to tell you. She's your friend. Your oh. friend. What? Oh. Oh no. You stupid. You stupid. You dumb as hell, bro. Don't ever mess with your girl's friends. Don't ever do that. It's just a big old recipe for absolute fuckery if it happen. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I just, it's your friend. Like, what is all this no, hostility? Like, like, you're a little like, defensive right I now. Like I don't I don't even understand. Like, I'm literally, I swear what's, to what's, you, what's I'm just trying to understand. I am just understand. trying to understand. You told me to come get your charger. Right. I have your, it's right there, right? It is right here. This man is so, like, dumb. The well, the problem is, she could have brought that mother charger to the, to the door. I'm at you, bro. Oh, he knows. He knows what she's doing. He knows. Are you serious? Okay. So, quick question. Quick. I'm just curious. Uh. Are we together, in your opinion? We're a couple, not, not wishy washy. Like, we are together. We are a couple. Yeah. I don't know. I'm asking you. You don't got to do all that smart. Didn't you hear? Y'all are on and off. <laughs> if, if you think we're together, if you I see us yeah. as I a couple. Yeah. <sighs> Why are you interrogating me? What's this? You, you told me to come get your charger. I'm here. I'm, I'm interrogating you because you're lying. I'm lying. What do you mean I'm lying? Because you're lying to my face. Now you've been lying to my face. I'm not acting. Are you being me right now? You got me up. Her acting insecure. Why didn't you leave? Like, I don't got to answer your question, man. Like, what is all this? I was sitting on your lap for like five minutes. That's how you operate. That's how you do it. I didn't do that. What the f yo, women thinking sometimes, bro. Are you serious? I tried to give you like multiple chances to just kind of tell me what the f happened. And I told you what And you told me what the f happened, uh -huh. but it was all a lie. And you know how I know it was a f lie? How do you know it's a lie? Because I have a whole entire camera crew watching you. We were watching you the whole time. All right, let's go. That's your cue. Let's go. Just because I knew you were lying, you know, I like I really wanted to. Nah, that's good. Like, but yo, what the? You've been lying to me, okay? Bro, also, like, question: Who's who's Ava? What is this? No. Bro, you did all this. You feel like you did something? What the is this? I don't feel <laughs> like I did. You did some. You like what the? You started from the door, like. I'm freeing my homegirl. Home First girl. of all, mm -hmm. you're sabotaging her relationship. That's what you. Am I sab? Did or did you, you sabotage it? it. You were the one with I all the compliments and touching me. Nah, bro. Touching you? First of all, what would I have to do touching my friend's boyfriend? Are you kidding me? Well, you did it. And you I'm really, you are really, know. you are really sitting here after I bro, watched. Get that camera out no, of no, 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 no. Listen, no, you've been on Damn. camera all day. It don't, it don't matter. You have, you are sitting here. You are sitting here. Crashing out. Defensive. Cause y'all are lying. Getting defensive as right. when I watched you this oh, entire from the moment you walked up to that. Bro, what the. Is this? Can y'all stop? Can y'all yep. stop? <laughs> Can y'all stop? No, we're not stopping because you're cut. So, so, Sean, so just so you know, this entire thing was just a loyalty test. Like, your girlfriend wanted to find out if you were loyal to her or not. She felt like you were talking to your coworker. She knows about Evelyn, Ava? When, uh, Evelyn, she knows about your coworker, Evelyn, or something. And she thought that you were obviously cheating on her with Bro, her. I don't know you. Like, none of this was real, basically. Mm. Everybody was in you on this. Here basically. Texting this. No, 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 no. no stop. Yo, set this whole up. Cause you're so foolish. You got me up. You won't even own up and be like, yeah, I up, bro. What the is wrong with you? You won't even own up and say I up. You're playing games like this. I'm is playing. Games. I'm not like it wasn't even real, so I wasn't even gonna cheat. Like okay. you just me. Nah, bro. You ain't even gonna cheat. Nah. That what is cheating. cheating. To you? What is cheating? That is to you? cheating. What is I'm cheating sorry. To you? Cause if I'm sitting on another nigga lap, how does that feel? What's that? So if okay, bet. So if I go okay, bet. So he if said I go my dick ain't in her. Lap, what's that? Just saying goodbye. Another Bet, I'm about to go say goodbye to oh. Helen. <laughs> Bet, I should throw this in your face, but I ain't gonna do it because I'm. A Yo, did you hear what he said? She said, What is it if I go and sit on another nigga's lap? Is, it, is that what do you call that? What do you call that? He said, Another fucking Tuesday. <laughs> I'm a good person, but you got me hella up, bro. Real. Nah, Y'all are crazy, bro. <sighs> 
So if I go sit on another nigga lap, do what you want. You know, you what's that called? Up, right? so it's just you another over, Tuesday, bro. You want? Hell bro, yeah. Get that camera out of my face for real. You don't gotta be here if you don't want to shine. You know, we're no, just. No, you don't gotta be I'm here. Get the I don't it out. That's my f exact thoughts, bro. Take this goddamn stupid ass charger too. I don't even know why you sat there and had this argument with everybody. You weird as You're weird as I don't give a about no all y'all. Nigga got me, oh my God, he got me so fed up. Oh my God. I, if he was sincere about it, he was like, okay, you know, like I did f up, this happened, this happened. Okay, that's one thing, you know what I mean? But for you to try to make me feel stupid after you did all that, like you look stupid. Oh my God, I'm so high. Oh my goodness. I could probably tell shit wasn't going well for them from the get-go anyway. He already flip-flopping. So he wasn't really with it from the from the from a minute. Now, that girl that they used. Yeah. Uh I might have failed too, not gonna lie. Road to 1000 subs, brother. Road to 1000 subs. We're on the journey. Until next time. We're gone.